What is up guys, Ants Britannia here, and today I've got another update video for my Mesa Barbarus. Um, <clears throat> all these videos are up to date, I uh, do these videos on the day, so uh video you see now was actually recorded on that day. But uh, here we go guys, here are uh, my messes. As you can see from the introduction video, I have just fed them a, uh, a mealworm. Now, to make it easier for them sometimes, and uh, better, uh, better for them so uh, they don't get damaged, so the ants don't get damaged, I feed them a millworm which hasn't yet hardened its exoskeleton. As you can see here, it's quite pale, and uh, it's a young millworm. Uh, so, uh, I fed it, I only feed uh, the, those millworms live to them. If I want to feed a... Uh, a hardened, a uh, a hardened millworm. I'll uh, break it in two and uh, and feed it to them. But uh, yeah, they're doing really well. Uh, only about a week ago, I cleaned this glass. Uh, as you can see here, they tend to uh, put lots of rubbish on the uh, glass, where the the water um, condenses onto the glass here, and they stick all their rubbish onto it to uh, sometimes to soak up the dampness um, but other times it just gets stuck there by accident and the ants don't really notice but it kind of restricts my view so I have to clean it so um, yeah I'm going to have to clean that at some point uh, before I go on holiday um, it's not easy cleaning it <laughs> uh, basically if you have something like this uh, the way uh, I've cleaned it before is I have it's so tough to clean right you can either uh, move the colony out into a test tube nice and slow and easy um, but I've done it I've done it a way uh, which is a bit different to that I have uh, put a piece of car no slid a piece of cardboard underneath the glass or a bit of paper so like put this I'll put this over here slide the paper underneath giving a little bit of it like a space between the glass and the white tongue, so I can slide it through. So then it's flat onto the nest, and then I can just simply pull the glass off, and um, some, and then uh, I can like clean it that way. But uh, yeah, and then the, the real problem is uh, trying to get it, the glass back on. But I put, I put it back on, and then try and gently slide it out, and. Uh, so far, so good. I didn't. I haven't killed any. I didn't kill any of the ants, which was really awesome. I didn't want to anyway. Uh, all the escapees, I just put in the foraging area. But uh, yeah, that's how I'm gonna probably clean that in another video. Uh, this also needs cleaning, but they do it. They are uh, their diet has not changed. They eat a lot of uh, mealworms, seeds. They kind of. They've stopped eating, they stopped taking the seeds now. Um, as you can see in here, their chambers are quite full. So, uh, at, some, at some point, they probably thought that it was not necessary for them to collect anymore because they've already got a good store of it. Um, I've only got one worker foraging at the moment at the back there. There he is. Um, but yeah. No ants have escaped or anything like that. It's all been really good. They're doing really well. Um, I found that with messes, you can leave them. Um, you can leave them for quite a long, quite a long time, and uh, you won't have to feed them anything. What I mean by that is, you won't have to feed them insects or honey water. You can just keep a seed store like this, and uh, that will do them fine for ages, uh, because they don't really tend to. Uh, when I feed them, sometimes they don't look. You can see the leftovers. They don't tend to eat uh, mealworms that have uh, that I've feed to them. They just put them in the rubbish pile. Um, they probably they only eat insects if they really need to. If their seed storage is low, but in this case, they isn't that low. Um, another thing, I've attached one of my small test tubes to this. They're all. They will. Uh, they're starting to discover it now. Actually, I only just put it on a moment ago. And uh, when I go on holiday, obviously I won't be able to like um, like if if the nest gets a bit dry, um, they can always uh, 
get some water from this water store here, which is good. And there's also another water store in the foraging area, which uh, you might have seen. So yeah, guys, this is my colony at the moment. Um, my mesa colony. Um, some of you have uh, requested me, like requested for me to keep doing these updates continuously. And I will. Uh, hopefully with all these updates, my colony will keep getting bigger and bigger. And, uh, yeah. Some of you just want to keep track of this colony, and so do I. It's just... I love this colony. This was uh <clears throat> This has definitely got to be one of the great colonies of I've, I've ever kept. One of the best. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh please leave a like if you want to. Uh subscribe, do what you gotta do, and uh I shall see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.